Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to unlock some of the MIDI potential of your USB synth. I'm going to be using the Roland TB3 with Ableton Live, but a lot of these concepts can be transferred to any DAW or synth that you may prefer. We're going to talk about how to get MIDI information from the TB3 and how to send custom MIDI information back to it. The first thing we'll need to do is go into Ableton's preferences. We're going to be using the TB3 as the interface, so select the driver type ASIO, and then the audio device is the TB3. Moving on to the MIDI settings. Make sure that these track options are turned on. We're going to start with all sync options turned on, but we'll be adjusting this later. With the output sync turned on, the TB3 will start playing any time we start playback in Ableton. Alright, I have this pattern that I made on the TB3, and I'm really digging it, but it's missing some of the additional sounds that I'm hearing in my head. What we're going to do first is get the pattern's MIDI notes from the TB3, that way I can use them with any MIDI instrument. Create a MIDI track and click this channel drop down box under the MIDI from. If I press play on the TB3, we can already see the MIDI activity on channel 2. This is because the TB3 automatically transmits on channel 2, but you can change it from the TB3 setup operations. Select channel 2, arm recording on the channel, then click the record button on the clip location you want to record to. My pattern is only two bars, but I'm going to record it as a four bar phrase. Now we have a 4 bar clip with our MIDI notes. We can see that the accent notes are still preserved, although we may pull these peaks back some depending on what sound we end up with. All that's left is to get this information into another synth, so let's create another MIDI track. And drop in a synth. I'm going to use Omnisphere because it's one of my favorites. Let's play the clip and... Yeah, it's a boring saw right now, but that's definitely our pattern. Now that we've gotten MIDI from the TB3, I want to send a MIDI pattern that I wrote back to it. This is where we'll need to go back to Ableton's MIDI preferences, and we're going to turn off these two sync options. This is because we no longer want the TB3 to start playing its own pattern. Here I have a simple MIDI pattern that I already created on this MIDI channel. Ableton has an external instrument device under Instruments, so let's drag that onto our MIDI track. We want to send to the TB3. Channel 2, and the audio return is just 1 and 2 on our TB3. Press play on the clip, and we can now see the audio coming back from our TB3 onto the meter here. You'll eventually want to record this idea, so let's add an audio track. Audio from is going to be our external instrument. Arm the recording, then hit that record button on the clip location to start. This is a 4 bar loop, but I'm going to go ahead and record it as a 16 bar phrase because I already know what kind of expressive build that I'm going for with the cutoff and resonance knobs over that time. Now it's time to put it all together. I finished my sound design, recorded the TB3, and then added some drums. For this demo, I only used the two MIDI clips that we created during this video for the synths. There's some trippy, rhythmic things going on here but it has also created an Omnisphere using the MIDI clip that we got from the TB3. Before I play the clip, I just want to say thanks for sticking around through the whole video. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of.